in this video we will see uh, force between multiple charges formula uh, in solving uh, numericals we do expect question like this uh, let us suppose q1 charge 1 coulomb q2 charge 1 coulomb q3 charge 1 coulomb place that corners of a equilateral triangle q1 at one corner q2 at one corner q3 and side length is uh, 1 meter 1 meter l is equal to 1 meter then find the force on q3 force on q3 and length given 1 meter for simplification i taken equal charges to understand the problem but in practice or in the exam uh, we do expect different uh, magnitude of charges clear now according to question force on q3 first uh, according to this how to apply this formula is important first step is this formula in the sense force between multiple charges first step is we need to decide the directions which directions force directions so q3 experience force due to q1 q3 experience force q2 and this q1 force on q3 will act like this this we will three, uh, give the convention f31 and q force on q3 due to q2 we will write like this f2 f3 2 clear now we don't take uh, q force between q1 and q2 because this uh, they did not ask force between q1 and q2 they asked only force on q3 clear understand now net force according to superposition principle f3 is equal to f 3 2 plus f 3 1 this is vector sum clear vector sum in vector sum you already said in first view r is equal to a plus b the resultant vector this magnitude is r is equal to under root of a square plus b square plus 2 a b cos theta similarly this f 3 we can write this is gives the only magnitude then f 3 is equal to f 3 2 square plus f 3 1 square plus 2 f 3 2 f 3 1 cos theta now to find this we need to know magnitude f 3 2 f 3 1 and cos theta this is equilateral triangle equilateral triangle the angle is 60 degree this will be also 60 this is theta then we need to find magnitude f 3 2 f 3 1 clear here i am calculating f 3 2 according to Coulomb's law 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q3 q1 by distance between them let us say this is a b c what is the distance between q3 and q1 this is q3 and q1 you take a c square a c square and this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught value is 9 into 10 power 9 these two values q3 value 1 q1 value 1 a c what is the distance of a c 1 1 square and this is 9 into 10 power 9 newtons similarly f 3 1 also same 9 into 10 power 9 1 into 1 by 1 square f 3 1 is equal to 9 into 10 power 9 newtons and this f 3 is equal to these two forces remain same then take it as a just f and this will be f square plus f square plus 2f square cos 60 because this theta is 60 cos 60 cos 60 is half so f square plus f square plus 2f square into 1 by 2 2 to cancel clear and this simplify you will get the answer